Top of the morning to you, you scamming feckers, yeah? Oh, you want Target gift cards, do you? Don't be putting any extra zeros on. Hi everyone, Polecat here, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Well, this here is Microsoft and needless to say, it's a shorter one. They got a wee bit panicky and they decided to uh, just end it with a, a free fixing of my computer that wasn't broke or had any hackers or had any viruses, there was nothing wrong with it. So, sit back, relax, and hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, Polcat here. Hello. So, uh, today's video is brought to you by Microsoft. Scammers, that is. Yep. They've decided to invest giggles, BS, and outright lies, and a scam. So, let's get into the video. Thank you so much for calling. Technical support. My name is David Williams. How can I help you? Uh, hello, David. Yeah, uh, I've got this warning on my computer and I've turned it off, but it said something about pirated uh -huh. firewall activation. Okay. Uh, and the ring this I'm number. I've already heard it. And can you All right. And can you please tell me the like... It's been how long that you're facing this problem, sir? Uh, well, I only just turned uh, turned my computer on about 20 minutes ago, and I went into, I think it was AliExpress or uh, Banggood, okay. and I clicked on one of the uh, adverts on the side, because it was about tractors, and the next thing I know, that thing's popped up. Okay, and all of a sudden, you received this alert message popping up on your screen, and your device has been blocked for the security purpose, right? And yeah, you can't do so anything, I, right, sir? I turned it off. Okay, okay. All right, and like, did you recall like sharing any of your personal information in any website like yesterday before, sir? Or did you press any of any of the link, like any kind of suspicious link? Well, it was an advert on the site. I, I tell you what, it was on Banggood, so it was, and it was a link on okay. a, a link advert about tractors. And I went in, and I was okay. looking around, and the next thing, that thing popped up. It had nothing to do okay. with tractors. Okay, alright, so before... Okay, sir. So, like, uh, before I go ahead and check this about uh, about this alert message, can you do one thing, like, uh, can you please help me out with a make and model of your device? A yeah, make it's, and model? it's a Dell. Okay. And is it a laptop or a desktop, sir? It's a desktop. Desktop, okay. And is that your personal computer or is it a work computer, sir? Oh, well, it's a bit of both. I use it for my business, okay. but I also use it for All my right. own personal stuff. Okay. And can you tell me, like, uh, do you see any kind of error code on your screen with the alpha numerical something like this, sir? Like uh, an error code? Uh, hang on, I'm trying to think. What was it? It was like zero X. Okay. Or something like that okay all right uh, can you do one thing okay can you do one thing like uh, can you just give me a quick moment and let me do one thing let me just go ahead and check what type of alert message you have received from the Microsoft because sir and I'll be right back with you okay okay just thank you with me, okay all right most welcome sir just give me a moment I'll be right back with you all right okay Well, hello everyone. Um, right, so this is Microsoft, as I said in the intro. Um, where I do have the error code, and I'll read it out. It's zero x x red, R E D, x zero x x zero seven eight six x y underscore customer but instead of an s they use a five and then underscore s5 u p p u r t underscore backslash so all right hello sir yeah hello hello uh, okay 
Alright, thank you so much for your time and patience. And right now, like, I have already checked everything for you. And the message alert which you have received from Microsoft, it is a system generated warning. Because Windows are made in such way that if they detect any kind of suspicious activities or any kind of torsion spyware on those particular devices, they used to send this kind of alert message in order to secure the information and as well as their system. And according to the report, it shows like there is a breach showing on your network, which means it is an attempt of hacking which has been taking place in your device. So, and as I can see, like even uh, the hacking has taken place in your system for the past 48 hours, okay, sir? Okay. Yes, and so before I go ahead, uh, can you please tell me, like, uh, are you aware of hacking, sir? Do you know what is the terms of hacking? Uh, no. I don't. Okay, let me... Okay. Like, uh, hacking, uh, like... Oh, hacking! Like somebody else. H-A-C-K-I-N-G. Uh, sorry, sir? Your voice is breaking Hacking. Down, the, the word hacking, as in H-A-C-K-I-N-G. Yes, sir, hacking. Yeah, uh, it's an old Irish game. That they used to play. I know okay. that. It's a really old. It's a really old one now. I remember that one from the history books. Okay. Uh, I knew, sir. Uh, your voice is breaking up, sir. Oh, is it? Oh. Well, what am I oh, going to no, do about no, it's that? Better, no, it's better now. No, it's better now, sir. It's All right. Now. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay then. Uh, okay. And as I told you, like. The hacker has taken place into your computer for about 48 hours, okay sir? So now, can you please tell me that like, did someone else use your computer like apart from you? Or did help, did someone else have the access to your computer? No, it's only me. No one else has access to it. Okay, so that means like you're the only user of this computer, right? That's right, yeah. Okay. Alright, and since I can see like, uh, there is a bri uh, there has been breach showing on your network. So can you please tell me like like, uh, did you recall like sharing your Wi-Fi password to any other person or anyone recently or in your bus, your Wi-Fi password? Uh, no, I don't use Wi-Fi. My son set the computer up with the wire, rather than Wi-Fi. Okay. He says he he get better okay, so you connection on it. Okay, so that means like uh, you didn't use Wi-Fi, sir. No, I don't use that at all. Okay, and so can you please tell me like uh, which internet connection, what type of internet connection are you using right now, sir? Well, I'm using a wired one. It's the one that with the wire going out of the router in the, the back of my computer. Okay, just uh, with the help of the router, right? Yeah, it's just connected to the router, straight into the back of my computer. Okay. Okay. Funny looking plug. Okay, all right, okay, so Okay, because as I can see, I guess sir, as I can see, like the hackers are continuously trying to attack on your identity and as well as, as well as in your device So right now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to guide you with some technical steps to install certain Microsoft temporary security Which will help us to connect your device to our Microsoft security server and then we will check what all the data was getting hacked and what is required to be done in order to fix the problem, okay sir? Okay, then you can do one thing, okay sir? You can take the help of a keyboard, okay? You can take the help of a keyboard. In the left hand side, at bottom of the corner, can you see the Windows key with the small four boxes on it? Can you see that? Okay, uh, the four boxes, did you say? Yes sir, uh, the Windows key. Yeah, it will be it. in the left hand side, at bottom of the corner, okay? From your keyboard. Yeah, okay. You that? Yeah. Okay. So now, what you have to do is, you have to press and hold the Windows and along with the letter R like in Robert, okay? And okay. press the two key together and release it together at the same time. And once you click on the download option, might be in the left side bottom of the corner or might be in the right side top of the corner. Yeah, it says all of you set up 6.6. .6. Open file. Yes, exactly. Now you can... Yes, you can open the file, okay, sir? You can just open the file. And let me know what do you see on your screen, okay? Uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes or no? Yes. Or I don't can, really. Yes, you can just click on the yes. Open, click on the yes. All right, okay. 
right uh, it then says select destination location uh, yes you can do one thing sir you can just click on next okay, okay. can you see the next option okay and click on next again yes and yes it and then install so you can just click on the next yes you can click on install okay okay can you do one thing can you please help me with the id and the password sir uh, the id yeah. and the password yeah it's five eight uh -huh. six five two uh -huh. six eight eight okay and what about the password uh the password is six nine two eight seven Okay, let me just re-verify it, okay, sir? So, the ID which I have is start with 58652688 And the password which I got starting with 69287, right, sir? That's, That's it, sir. Yeah. Yep. Okay, can you do one thing? Can you just give me a moment and let me go, uh, let me just go ahead and connect your device to our Microsoft Security Server, okay? Alright. Give me a moment. Uh, hello, sir? Yeah, hello. Uh, just give me another moment, okay, sir. Actually, uh, uh, we have detected a virus in your system which was installed by the hacker. So, because of that virus, we are having a trouble. So, just give me a moment, okay? Let me try to fix that, okay? Alright. Doesn't sound good. Okay, just give me a moment. Hasn't even connected yet. And he knows there's a virus on my network and he knows everything else. Yeah, well, I hope everyone's having an absolutely amazing day, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Hello and welcome. Um, in case you just weren't paying attention at the start, this is Microsoft. Um, just the usual scam. You know, probably have to buy Defender or something like that. And, uh, the uh, nasty type of um, adult material, as they call it, uh, probably found on the network and everything else. So that's him disconnected. So uh, you better watch out because there's a nasty wee surprise. Um, well, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten nasty surprises, and then there's a couple of hidden ones. You know, if you go snooping. <laughs> so uh, I think there's like 12. 12 or 13. So, uh, anyway. The joys. Alright, hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Uh, okay, so right now we have successfully connected your device to our Microsoft security server, okay? Alright, okay. Uh, yes, and sir, like, uh, there is um, one more good news for you, like, well, uh, I was trying to connect your device to our Microsoft security server, on that very time, I've installed a new antivirus in your system, in order to protect your information, and not to get right. the access in your system, from the hackers, okay? Okay. So you don't have to worry about anything, and then unless, your device will be connected to our security server, okay? Alright, so, how much do I have to pay for that? Uh, no sir, um, uh, you don't have to pay even a single penny from your pocket, okay? It's totally a free of course, okay? Alright, so that's going to protect me from all the hackers then. And all the viruses and all that. Yes, exactly. Alright, alright, well exactly. thanks very much. Uh, alright, well... Uh, so is that my that. computer fixed uh, then? Uh, no sir, not yet fixed because... No? Right now, like, uh, we have successfully connected your device to our security server, so right now... We are going to run a few scan in your system to tag on us each and everything and after that we will check what all the data was getting hacked and why this required to be done, okay? And right. after the scan has been done, you will be able to see the result, what kind of activities or what kind of information those hackers were trying to take from your system, okay? Oh. And yes, and with the help of the first scan, just give me a moment. Okay. Okay, and with the help of the first scan, we will come to know, like, like, comes that the hackers go to the access to your system and all, okay? We will come to know each and everything with the help of the first scan. Now you can do one thing, sir. Uh, you have a keyboard, right? You have a keyboard? I do. That's how I was typing. Yes, sir. Now you can do one thing. You can do the same thing, okay? Like, 
the windows and the letter R like in Robert. All right. Press the windows and the letter R like in Robert. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you can see the run box. You can write. You can I see do. the run box. Okay. And can you please tell me, like, is there anything written in the open or it's empty? Uh, no, it says open ultraviewer.net. Okay, uh, can you do one thing? Can you erase it ultra viewer and make it empty? Okay. Okay. Now over there you can type CMD, okay? Like C like in Charlie, M like in Mary, D like in Delta, okay? Alright. So like CMD is, a, uh, is, okay, so physically CMD is sent with common, okay sir? So now you can click on OK. You can just click on the OK option. Right. Okay, so now, once you click on the OK, there will be a black box appearing on your screen. Can you see this, sir? I do, I see the a screen. A black box? Yeah, I see it, yeah. Okay. Alright, so this black box is also known as a common prompt, okay, sir? It's a common prompt. And with the help of this black box, we are going to run a scan in your system. Now, inside the black box, can you see a white crosser blinking, sir? I do, yeah. Can you see a white crosser blinking? Yeah. Okay. Can you do one thing? Uh, over there, can you please type net set, like N, like in Nancy? N. Okay, and E, like in Easter. Alright. Okay, and T, like in Thomas. Alright. And S, like in Sam. Okay. And T, okay, and once again, T, like in Texas. Alright. Okay, and after that, the letter A like an alpha. Alright. Okay, and once again, the letter T like an Daxus. Alright. Okay, so physically, this net state is a network status, okay, sir? Alright. This net state is a network status, so right now, we are going to check about your network status. And after that, we will come to know the activities of the hackers, okay? Now you can do one thing. Uh, you can just click on the under. Uh, you can just click on the enter, guess sir. You can click on the enter. Okay, so I hope that the scan has been running, right? Yeah, it's done. Oh, uh, is it done? Yeah. Okay. Now, can you see uh, active connections? Active connections. I do. Yeah. Okay, so these are the active connections. Of your network. Right. So what he's going to do is he's going to okay? tell me here no, that uh, just below the just below the active connections. Um, can you see all well, the foreign addresses are hackers? Can you see a brother over there? Isn't the brother over there? Sorry, you broke up there. Can you see a bro? Uh, can you see a brother? Can you see a brother? B R O T O. Oh, proto. Just yeah, below the I see it. Connections. Yeah, yeah, I see that. So this brother. Yeah, so this brother is your local network service provider, okay, sir? Uh, that is your local so network service provider. So what he's going to do is he's going to say that the and foreign addresses the brother, are all hackers on my computer TCP. and that he needs to do all that. TCP. Yeah, I do. I thought TCP was a disinfectant for cuts and stuff like that. Oh, like, um, physically, like, uh, this TCP is like transmission control protocol, okay, sir? This right. TCP is a transmission control protocol and. This TCP is your local network, okay? That is your local network. And now, next to the brother, can you see a local address? Can you see a local address? I do, yeah. Uh, can you see a local address written over there? Next to the brother? Yes, I do, yeah. Okay, and just below the brother, below the brother, can you see a different kind of IP address starting with like 1 all period all? Period two, period one five. Can you say something like this, sir? Yeah, I do. Okay, so if you can see the I, uh, if you can see a numerical numbers with. Hey, long. Can you see my out, screen? That. Because that's what that was. Uh, no, sir. Right now we can't see. Oh uh, no, sir. Right now we can't see your screen, but uh, the scanner which you can see on your screen. With the software, that, uh, he's able to see my screen. So can activate with our talking BS well, okay, from the very so start. every result can display in the, uh, with our system as well. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, can you see? Uh, you can see. Uh, you can see numbers, right? Starting with then, then all something like that. Yes, I do. Yeah. 
Yeah, so these are the local uh this is your local IP address, okay sir? This is your local IP address of your Wi Fi which has been hacked by the hackers. So like uh do you know like what is your uh do you know what is an IP address is, sir? Is that an international posting address? Is that what that means? Uh no sir, like uh no sir, like uh, I physically like IP sent from internet protocol, okay sir? Oh, uh, physically right. IP sent from internet protocol and an IP address is a unique address which identifies a device with the help of the network which you are using right now. For example, like you have a unique address and your neighbor has a different address. So in that oh. same way, every internet connection has their own IP address in order to identify yourself, okay sir? All right. And if you can see the IP address with a starting number 10, oh, then that is your current local IP address of your Wi-Fi, which has been hacked by the hackers. Okay, sir. All right. Okay. So now, next to the lo uh, next to the local address, can you see a foreign address? Can you see a foreign address? I do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And below the foreign address, can you see a numerical numbers and alphabet? Can you see a numerical numbers and alphabet? Uh, well, oh, it's uh, only the end bits alphabet. All the rest is uh, okay, numbers. Okay. Okay. Can you please tell me, like, uh, what type of alphabet can you see, sir? What type of alphabet can you see? Uh, HTTPS. Okay. Now you can see HTTPS, right, sir? Yeah. It's like what happens okay. whenever you go onto a website. Yes, sir. So basically, like this HTTPS are a website, okay, sir? And these are the numbers of the website visited, made using your IP address without your knowledge, okay, sir? These are the numbers of the website visited, made using your identity without your knowledge. And next to the numerical number, uh, next to the alphabet, uh, you can see a numerical numbers, right, sir? You can see numerical numbers, right? Yeah. So it's like 40.83.247. Dot O one eight. Or sorry, okay. dot one O eight. So, uh, these are the okay, dot one O eight, right? Um, these are the only numbers which you can see, or there are uh, there are different numbers as well, sir. I well, the, I will down to it's one nine two. Oh, you can even see a one nine two, right? And then an A two three. Uh, one, two, okay. Uh, four times, and then one nine two again, and then a hyphen zero 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 one, and then a two three, and a that a one again, okay. and then a two three, and a yeah. All right. It uh, there's a lot of duplicates. Okay. That's what I'm trying to okay, say. Okay. Okay. Then now let. All right. Now let me do one thing. Like let me just explain you about these numbers. Okay, sir. So like uh, this, these are the numbers of the IP address, okay, sir? These are the IP address and the locations of the hackers from where your IP address was trying to log in, okay, sir? These okay, are so what you're telling me IP is the, the left-hand side is good and the middle uh -huh. one is the bad one. So the local uh, address is good, foreign address is bad. Uh -huh. Is that what you're getting at? Yes, like uh, about, the, uh, about the local address, I bought the local address, okay, sir. Uh, that is your current local IP address of your Wi-Fi, okay. And about the foreign address, you can see there are different kind of IP address below the foreign address, right? All so right. these are the numbers of the location and the IP address from where your IP address was trying to log in, okay, sir. These are the number of the locations from where your IP address was trying to log in, and as I can see, like this type of uh, this type of IP address and locations are from out of out of the foreign country, yes sir. It's like from China, Hong Kong, Singapore, and all, yes sir. So like, uh, so like, do you have any idea? Like, um, do you have any kind of business partner or any kind of link in this kind of state, sir? Uh, no. Okay. So you don't have any idea regarding this kind of uh this kind of IP address, right, sir? That's so right. like, so let me just tell you like, yeah. So these are the numbers of the locations of the hackers from where your IP address was trying to log in, okay? So now, like, so now next to the local address, what do you see? Can you see a state, S-T-A-T-E? State, yeah, I see that. Yeah, so 
it says established, established, established and then loads of closed weights, uh -huh. and then established, closed weight, established, okay. established, established. Okay, now you can see established and closed weight, right? Okay, now let me do one thing. Let me just explain you about the established, okay, sir? Let me just explain you about the established. Like, if Why is my computer locked? Then... Oh, sorry, sir? My controls were locked. I couldn't use me, me mouse. Uh, I didn't got you, sir. Me mouse wouldn't work properly, and then it did. I was trying to look up the IP address. Okay. Uh, but make sure that right now, like, uh, even though like your device are being protected under our Microsoft Security Server, but make sure that. You didn't put any of your information right now, I guess, sir? Because no, 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 it was one of the foreign ones. Uh, yeah. The 40.83.247.108. Okay. I was looking that up. My son showed me a, uh, a thing that I can use to check to see what my IP address is. So that means whenever I'm logging into uh, certain places, it tells me what my IP address is and if it's right or wrong. It's called okay. IP uh, location. You can see... Okay, uh, you can you, you told me that you can see an uh, IP address starting with 40.832.47.108, right? That's right. Okay, so that uh, that IP address is not your local IP address, okay, sir? That is I not know. your local IP address. Instead, yeah, these are the numbers of the location and the server of the hacker. So, yeah, if you're try uh, if you're trying to search this IP address, you won't be able to find it, okay, sir? Because in order to find that IP address. You need to uh, you need to set up a different server in your system and as well as in your network. And after that, only you'll be able to search that IP address from your system, sir. Now uh, you told me that you can see established, right? You can see established. Yeah, I can right? see established on it. Yeah. Okay. So if you can see an established, that means those hackers have successfully peeled a connection in your network, yes, sir. Those hackers have successfully peeled a connection into your network, and you told me that like you can see, uh, but even though like you can see established, and it does come from that those hackers connection is uh, successfully peeled into your connection, but you have to worry about it because right now the hackers are not in your device because your device has been protected our under our security server, so the hackers are not in your device at this moment. Okay. Right. Well, and you see that, you that one, that the, the four O A three. They're in California. Uh huh. That's where I am. Uh, sorry, sir. What was that? I said they're in California. I went on to this IPlocation.net, and you put in the IP address okay. that you want to look up, and they're in California. So I could okay, so from I California? could tell the police that. Okay, and where are you located right now, sir? I'm in California. Oh, you're in California itself. I am indeed, yeah. Oh. Is that a coincidence or do you think that they're trying to steal all my stuff? It says San Jose. That they're in... San Jose. It yeah. may, uh -huh, it, uh, it might be possible that uh, might be those hackers are trying to misuse some kind of uh, other's information in this IP address, okay, sir? Might be, uh, it might be possible, like... Uh, this might be this IP address is from different IP uh, different identity as well. Okay, so right now, like I've already reported each and every information regarding your problem to my department, and as I can see, like and I'm seeing the report, like they have half the virus. They have already removed the virus from your system, I guess, sir. All yeah, right. It's very good news for you that really? those, uh, yeah, the, our department, our technical team, they have already removed a virus in your system, and they told me like um. The hackers' connection are being disconnected from uh, from your end, okay, sir? All right. So, uh, can you let's do one thing? Like, uh, let's run a final scan in your system to see, like, is there any kind of suspicious or any kind of suspicious thing has been uh, done in the system or not, okay, sir? Let me check about it. Okay? So it's going to be either now, tree. Now you can do one thing. Uh, you can see a white scan. closer blinking over there, right? Sorry, you broke up at the last. There, all I heard was "all right." Uh, is it okay now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I was saying that you can see a white cross or blinking, right, sir? I can, yeah. Is that a black box? Yeah. Okay, can you do one thing? Over there, can you please type D like in, uh, D like in Delta? 
D. All right. Okay, and after that, the letter I like in Indiana. Huh? Yeah. Okay, and after that, the letter R like in Robert. R. Okay. Okay, F1 forward slash. Yeah. Okay, and uh, alright, and after that, the letter S like in Sam. Alright. Okay, now you can hit enter. Now you can hit the enter. Oh, that's a lot of writing. Okay, so I hope that the scan is. Okay, so I hope that the scan has been running, right? Yeah, it's running. It would give Hussein okay, Bolt so a, a run while, for his sir? money, I'll tell you that, the speed of it. Right, oh. that's it finished. Okay, you can, can you do one thing? Can you try to hit uh, once again DIR slash S, the same thing, okay? It oh, says, just... get. Oh. It's cat? Get. Okay, just give me a moment, okay? Do you need me to run it again? Uh, just give me a moment, just give me a moment, okay, sir? Just give me a moment, okay? Alright, okay. Okay. My scan's going too quickly for him now. <laughs> I was trying to write, get out. Um, yeah, so what he's trying to do is, he's trying to get it to do this. Um, usually what they do is, during the scan, they'll start typing. Um, whenever the scan's finished, it will put it up at the bottom. All right, hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Okay, you can do one thing, you can try for, uh, you can try once more time, okay? The same thing, D-I-R slash S. D-I-R slash S. And then hit enter. Okay, now you can hit enter. Yes, sir. Okay. So what he's going to write is blah, 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 blah. No suspicious, fine. Yeah. Uh, right. It's done. And it just says Paul Cat and the flashing cursor again. Okay. Just give me a moment. Okay, uh, so the skin has been done, right, sir? Yeah, it says uh, C dot dot backslash users backslash. Polcat. Okay. Just give me a moment. All right. I ain't getting a phone now, call. Uh, you can try. Uh, you can try different code, okay, sir? Can you type uh, like D like in Del uh, D like in Thomas? T like in Thomas, type T like in Thomas. Yeah. R like in Robert. Okay, R like in Robert. Alright. E like in Easter. E like in Easter. Okay. One, okay, once again, E like in Easter. Alright. And you can hit, now you can hit enter. Enter, alright. There we go. Okay, so the scan has been done, sir? Yeah, it's done. As soon as I hit enter, it's done. Okay. And can you see any any results? Uh, uh, what, 3D what do you objects. Your, uh, what do you see inside the black box, sir? Uh, uh -huh. 3D objects, contacts, desktop, documents, downloads, license, Winamp, favorite links, links, music, OneDrive, 
document pictures, pictures, camera roll, save pictures, save games, searches, videos, any desk, captures, the use, oh, uh, it says echo no suspicious found on this PC. Why does it say suspicious and not okay. suspicions? Okay, so you can uh, you can say like no suspicious found on this PC, right? Right, well you told me that there was. Uh, so so were you telling fibs or is the software doing that there? Or is it because uh, no, it's yeah, lunch time? That, like... Okay, now you can see no suspicious found on this PC, right? Yeah, which is suspicious because it should be suspicions. Should it not be? Okay, so that means, like, if you can see, like, no suspicious found on this PC, then it's totally clear that we have already removed that hackers from your system, okay, sir? Right. Our department, uh, uh, with the help of those scans, we're gonna be able to detect any kind of suspicious towards the hackers, okay, sir? So that means, right now, at this very moment, your device has been secured for a temporary best, okay? So you can do one thing. You can just use your PC, or you can just use your desktop for a uh, light that you use as a physically, okay, sir? So for now, as you can see, like, your your device has been fixed, okay, sir? Right, for how long? Uh, <clears throat> might be, like, uh, for, a, for a permanent, sir, but, or you can do one thing, uh, like, in the future, if you find any kind of, any kind of suspicious things, or if you find, uh, if you receive this alert message again in the future, then you can do one thing, you can just call us, on that dolphin number, which of all us, okay, sir? All right. So yeah. is that it? So for now, like that's a very, yeah. So for now, that's a very good news. That and congratulations, like we didn't find any kind of suspicious in your beast, okay? Because and moreover, I've already installed a new antivirus in your computer, so we have already removed it, uh, hackers from your device, okay, sir? All right. So what actually happens then? Yeah. Uh, sorry, sir. So what happens now? Do how much do I owe you, sir? Uh, sir, uh, your wife is breaking up, sir. I said, how much do I owe you is then for that? Uh, still not. Your wife is breaking up, sir. Hold on. Let me move back a bit. Hello. Can you hear me now? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, I can hear you, but we. Uh, I can hear you, but uh, your wife is breaking up, sir. Nah, it's his cell phone. Sorry, it will come back yeah, in a minute. No, it's better, there we go. No, it's better, sir. Can you hear me any better now? Y yes, I'm. No, it's better, sir. No, it's better. Good. I can hear you now. Ah, brilliant. Right. No, I was yeah, just asking, was how much do I owe you for all this work? Uh, my experience? No, how much do I owe you for the work? Uh, I didn't got you, sir. I'm saying, how much is it going to cost? For the work that you've done. Oh uh, no, sir. Uh, no, no, sir. Uh, you'd have to pay even a single penny from your pocket. It's totally free, okay? It's a free of course. All right. Fair enough then. It, yes. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to pay even a single penny, okay? All right. So you can do one thing. You can use your computer, okay? Now. All right. There's nothing suspicious, and everything's kind of everything's fine. And if you find any trouble again in the future, then you can just call us on that dolphin number that you have called us, okay, sir? So that we can help you, okay? Okay, what's up, Yaro? Okay, and you can do one thing. Uh, you can do one thing, and like, uh, since we have already fixed up your computer, you can do one thing. Uh, just for like, the, uh, five to ten minutes, you can shut down your desktop and you can restart. Okay, sir, for the five to ten minutes. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. All right. right I'll do that. Sure. I'll do that right now. Okay. Right, these things are really, really, really suspicious. So, here we go. My phone's ringing. Hello, this is Paul Messi. Hello. Oh, hi, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Hello. Yes, uh, I'm calling you from uh, your computer maintenance company. I'm the call is regarding about the computer. All right. Okay. 
So uh, like we are getting some error and warning notification from your computer. So may I know when was the last time you used that computer? Uh, about f 10 seconds ago. I've just restarted 10 it. seconds ago. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, this is a free service call to you. You don't need to pay any single penny for this, okay? So are you in front of your computer right now? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, uh, are you able to turn on your computer? Then we can go ahead and install the firewall security on your device. Right, can I ask who this is? Oh, I'm sorry? Can I ask who this is? Sure. Well, who I'm are sorry. You? Uh, I'm uh, we work for Microsoft. Are. Oh, Microsoft. All right. Okay. Yes, we are from the. Uh, yes. So do let me know once you turn on your computer, okay? And my name is Edward Johnson, and this is totally free of cost. You need to pay any single penny for this. All right. All right. And oh, it's, it's funny. Sir? It's just I'm off. I'm just off the phone with Microsoft. That's why I didn't answer the number. Oh, 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 okay, no problem. Yes, last time also we had a vote with you regarding about your device, and we are the person who fixed your device as well. Yeah, well. So yeah. do let me know once you turn on your computer. Well, he's yes. just off the phone, so he is with my, the fellow from Microsoft, and he didn't charge me anything. No, there will be no charges for any single penny. Okay? Yeah, so I don't need two there people no from Microsoft charges. doing the same thing on my computer. I'm sorry, you don't need any kind of help? No, because Microsoft have just, they're literally off the phone. Whenever you were ringing me the last time there, hold on a minute. Uh, uh-huh. The last time you rang me there, uh, which was what twenty minutes, about ten, fifteen minutes ago, I was actually on the phone with Microsoft, uh -huh. and they they done all the scans okay. and the, they told me that there was no suspicious found on me computer. Okay, so when you have spoke with the Microsoft, literally today? five minutes ago, yeah, I was on the okay. phone to them whenever this number but, was ringing me. And I literally uh, just okay, hung okay. up and answered because yours. Uh, okay, but uh, you know, all you have that. Uh, do you remember the name of that uh, people who you have just worked with them? Do you remember that technician? I uh, think his name was David. He was a really nice fella. And David. He explained everything to uh -huh. me, and he told okay. me to uh, turn my computer off and to go mm -hmm. and do all the. Uh, turn my computer off and turn it back on again. Mm-hmm. Okay. So is your computer is on now? It is. It's on now. Yeah. Okay. You know, or like or some bad files are still remaining inside your computer. So I'll help you out how you can check that error messages which are present inside your computer. Okay. So first thing, can you tell me right now what you can see on your computer screen? Nothing, because I've just turned it off. Because I'm. A, I need to go to the toilet. So. Can I ring you back in about 10 minutes? No problem, you just reach me back in the very same number. All, All right. right, okay, thank you very much, sir. Y you must welcome. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. I promise you I'll ring you back, don't worry, I do need to go to the toilet. No problem, you take your time. I will, thank you. <sighs> Luck of the draw, eh? Two Microsofts. Well, and he's going to take the bad man off the computer. <laughs> well, I will be back. So, uh, everyone. Well, as you seen, another scammer rang while in the middle of that. So, as you see, I rang him back. And, of course, I'm a man of my word. I rang him back once I was finished setting up for the next phone call. So, until then, don't get scammed. I love you. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe, and drop a wee comment down below on what you think.